My name is Mark Eliani. I'm part of a group involved in building the Moroccan Jewish Museum and Archive for Living Culture at Moshafs Dot Micha, halfway between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. So far, we have acquired uh, a property at Moshafs Dot Micha, and we are in the process of con converting uh, existing farm buildings into a museum and archive. One building of about 320 square meters will be a museum. And the other building will be the archive. Uh, we reached an understanding with the Institute Orot that specializes in editing manuscripts of Moroccan Jewish authors. Institute Orot, uh, managed by Dr. Rabbi uh, Moshe Amar, will be moving into our archive and we will help him with uh, the promotion and marketing of uh, his publications. And on top of those publications, we will add ours. Uh, our intent is to build something similar to the Jewish Publication Society in the in United States and do something similar in Israel to promote Jewish Moroccan culture. In parallel, in the museum, we will be holding exhibits that extend from uh, our antiquities to our own times. The Moroccan Jewish Museum and Archive for Living Culture will present multimedia exhibits which offer visitors active participation for workshops, lectures, as well as food and entertainment festivals. For example, Along an exhibition of jewelry making, there would be videos of craftsmen producing similar work, a craftsman at work, as well as workshops for interested visitors. There would be also a museum shop selling reproductions as well as original works. The museum may also initiate an open market to sell and exchange antique jewelry in conjunction with exhibits. And to the extent possible, we will also hold conferences focusing on related matters, such as research on jewelry making in Morocco. The property at Zdot Micha was acquired by Mark Kenyan. It will be managed as a non-profit association affiliated with British Morocco, the Association of Moroccan Jewry in Israel. So far, we managed to build a building that will house guest artists and lecturers. Surrounding the archive and museum compound, we are close to completing a mud installation, a tribute to rural Moroccan Jews who came to Israel in the early 50s and settled Moshavim and development towns in the remote outskirts of Israel. The installation consists of a mud wall surrounding the museum compound, as well as a small mud house, four mud ovens, two for ceramics and two for bread and matzah making. Behind the mud ovens, we have a large sculpture of a man and a woman looking from the west to the east to express the yearning of Moroccan Jews to Zion and Jerusalem. Behind the sculpture, we built a sitting area where meetings and groups will be accommodated. The archive will house a cafe right here to accommodate researchers and interested parties in music,
documentation and poetry of the Moroccan Jews. Between the museum and archive, we are building a Moors courtyard, an interior sculpture garden. The exterior of the museum and archive will be painted like a huge mural on which we will have names of the settlements, Moshavim and development towns built by Moroccan Jews and family names of the people who settled those villages and towns. A bustan, a mix of fruit trees consisting of figs, pomegranates, citrus trees, cactuses, among others, surrounds the museum and main farmhouse. Subject to water consumption constraints, we are in the process of making our bustan into a botanical garden. Our work is done in compliance with ecological principles. We recycle tires and construction materials to build walls, stairs, pathways and so forth. We also recycle water for reuse in toilets and gardening. With time, we intend also to use wind and solar power. Settlers in most small villages in Israel used to make a living from farming. But the restructuring of the Israeli economy reduced the feasibility of profitable farming in small scales, making economic renewal a necessity. As many of the villages are populated by one dominant group of immigrants, cultural tourism is proposed as a venue of economic development. The idea is based on setting up a museum and archive of a specific ethnic group. For example, a Moroccan Jewish museum and archive for living culture and encourage settlers to build tourism services around it. The ultimate objective is to encourage multicultural development in Israel and intercultural tolerance and anchor them in an underlying and self-sustaining structure of productive economic, educational and cultural activities.